Hey guys, did you know that you're probably holding the best camera for your content creation and streaming needs right at the palm of your hand? And yes, I'm talking about your phone. So for today's video, I'm finally going to teach you how to use your phone as a web camera. Let's get it started. Before we get to the video, I just want to thank all of you for supporting my return as a content creator. It's been almost a week since I've had my internet installed here in my new place, and you guys have just shown me a lot of support. I've launched my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash Norkla. You can catch me live there, hang out, or ask me questions about your stream. So make sure you follow me there. I stream every day there all the time. By the way, also we're close to hitting 500 subscribers here on this YouTube channel, and I do want to give a milestone for the community. Community. If we hit 500 subscribers here on YouTube, I'm going to be making a full room and setup tour plus a QA and a vlog so that we can get to know each other. So I'm really excited guys that we're growing and make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell to get notified whenever I release a new video. Let's get back to the video. I always tell people to use their phones instead of buying a new webcam. The reason for this is companies have been working and having an arms race amongst each other to make the best phone ever. They spend billions of dollars on research and development and a big part of that budget goes to the cameras. Compare that with the innovation for the past couple of years in webcams. If I was to ask you what would be a great webcam to buy this 2020, you'd probably tell me that I should get the Logitech C922 and the Logitech Brio. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, those cameras are actually quite a number of years old. I, if I'm not mistaken, the Logitech C922 was released in September 2016, while the Logitech Brio was released at February 2017. So that's almost a decade long. Meanwhile, every year, cameras on phones are getting better and better. And if you do have a one to two year old phone that you're using, you may want to hold on to that extra cash, maybe save it for better gear or even a better mic. And guess what? All of the videos that I've shot in this channel is actually made from a phone. It's the Huawei Nova 5T. So the quality is pretty good. I'm super, super happy with it. So to be able to use your phone as a webcam, you need a couple of things. A phone, of course. You need a USB cable to connect your phone to your PC. You need a software called IVCam, which will make the PC think that your phone is a webcam and you need to download it on your phone and on your PC. So the first thing that you need to do is that you need to install IVCam on your phone and also download the IVCam program to your PC. Now, the IVCam software can be used for Android and iOS. I am using an Android phone and I do have friends who use IVCam on an iOS device. And here's the thing, you have to pay for the um, pro version or the full version to really be able to unlock everything. So I believe that there are limitations when you use the trial version, there's a watermark, you can can't use full resolution, you can't change the different cameras, you can't change the quality plus the resolution. So, um, you know, it's much better to actually spring for the $10 or the 500 pesos to get the full amount. And I promise you, you can check my stream here on Facebook and on Twitch, and you will see the quality of the camera. So it's way, way worth it. The second thing that you need to do is to plug your phone to your PC. And once your phone is plugged into the PC, make sure you activate the IVCam app. And then also make sure that the IVCam desktop app is running on your PC. What should happen is that it should show that it detects an input from your phone. The third thing that you need to do is to open up OBS and add a video source. Let's switch to desktop view so that I can show you how to do it. Okay, so we're here at OBS and uh, I'll show you how to activate your phone uh, as a webcam. So go to sources, click this plus button, go to video capture devices. I've already configured IVCam here for my usual streams. However, for this one, I just wanna show you how it looks like freshly installed. So name this whatever, press OK. Let me get that out of the way. And what you want to do is make sure that you are selecting E2E soft IV cam. OK, um, and this is the same if you're going to use this on Discord or you're going to use this as Zoom or Skype or any other video conferencing tool. You just select E2E soft IV cam. OK, and um, I'll show you quickly how to configure it. I, I, I must apologize because this is probably going to look very trippy, but I'm going to have to enable preview. All right. So um, what should happen is that you will see my face here. It's pretty blown up because I'm using a 4K feed, but you can actually reduce the size, right? You can reduce the size. So there you go. I have a webcam actually here already on the side. 
if I want to make it look like um, I'm facing the other way, you can flip horizontal. If you want to crop it, you click Alt and then click this one and then it's cropped. There you go. You can do that as well. And if you want to reset it, just do transform and reset transform. Uh, and then pretty much it reverts to this, its ori original dimension. So um, yeah, it's that simple. It's as simple as that. I hope this video helps you use your phone as a webcam and helps you save money along the way. If you liked it, please hit that like button and also subscribe and follow my Twitch. I'm also on Facebook Gaming. All the links are down below. Looking forward to seeing what you guys think and let me know what video I should make on next. All right, this is Narkla signing off. All we revise, lahat tayo aangat.